what's up guys welcome to the new video tutorial this is me Ron and in previous video tutorial I show you guys how to create a website and now in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a subdomain of your website creating a subdomain uh, of your website is uh, like registering new domain name and working with it because you need to install a separate uh, content management si uh, system like WordPress Drupal, Joomla, etc. Uh, whatever uh, content management system you want, you can install for your subdomain. <coughs> uh, so, without further ado, uh, let's uh, start. First of all, you need to open your browser and then uh, in the address bar, uh, you can type your domain name. And then slash like my domain name is this one and then slash c panel and then press enter and then you need to enter your c panel username and password or if your hosting is a uh, cloud hosting then you need to type your ip address after uh, install after entering your ip address then you need to provide your username and password of your cloud host so after logging in into your uh, cpanel uh, you can see uh, this all functionality over here and scroll down and then you need to click over here subdomains now here is the creation of the subdomain of your main domain so you can provide the name over here like test and that domain name is this one and then your a root of the subdomain is this one now click on create This one is the subdomain that I already created for my of my domain name. So go back to the C panel and then click on file manager. Here you can see uh, this is your subdomain that you just created. So double click over here. And you need to inst install your content management system like WordPress, uh, Drupal, Joomla. But I am using WordPress, so upload. Then select file. And then this one. Go back to your file manager and then there you go. Our WordPress is uploaded now. Click that WordPress and then you need to unzip this. So click on extract, extract file, close. Now select all these file and then move, move to here, go back. Now in your uh, address URL you need to try your subdomain that you just created and then your domain name 
and then press enter. Then your WordPress configuration will open and then click select your language and then click continue. Now uh, you need to have a database name, database username, database password and database host. So go back to your cPanel and then go to MySQL database. And then create a database over here, test. Click go back now. You need to uh, create a username for this database as well as so add new user, test password, whatever you want. You can type over here then click on get user click save go back and you need to provide the privilege of this user in order to access this database so from here Your user uh, to database. Select your database and then your user here from user and then here from database and then click add and select all. Click on make change. Go back to the C panel and then MySQL databases. From here you can see this is our database and then this is the user that we provided the privilege for this database. So go back to the configuration of the WordPress. Let's go. And then your database name is test. Database user is test database password is and then click on submit. Oops, we provide the wrong password. And then click on run the install then here you can type your site name site name is here from here like example for example i can show you this tech support name is the site name you can type your site name whatever you want like test and then your WordPress username like test and then you can type your password here test and then you, you need to provide your email and then click on ops password is uh, two week so
and then click on install or press and click on save click on login click on login <coughs> After clicking on login, your dashboard will open and then just like in previous video I show you guys how to change the theme of this WordPress, how to uh, write the new post and uh, new article and post them and how to create the pages, how to upload the media and how to install the plugin and so for all these you can watch my previous video and many more things uh, can be done in WordPress because WordPress provides the flexibility for us and WordPress is suitable for both technical and non-technical person because it provides the abstraction and you can easily change your appearance of your website and WordPress make very complex tags to very easy tags by providing the many plugins so that's it uh, in this video tutorial guys if you like this video don't forget to uh, like this video and share this video with your friends uh, who want to create their subdomain of their uh, main domain and then stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel uh, you need to subscribe this channel so subscribe to this channel and so that you can watch the video when i upload a new technical and programming video so thank you guys once again have a good day bye bye